You're live. I'm live. What's up, y'all? I'm live with my boy Evan. What's up, guys? Oh, man, that felt good. Woo! So, Sexy Chris Jacobs. I'm actually live with this uh, uh, Nashville country artist. Not only that, he sings really like dog. Butter. It's like butter. butter. Like butter. Like Lando Lakes butter. Not just any butter. But James has a hit song. What is it? The opposite. And what can they find it? Find it on iTunes, uh, James McCoy Taylor. Find it on uh, Spotify, anything really. Apple Music. Go check it out. James McCoy Taylor, the opposite. And uh, Evan jams it. I mean, it must be good. Chris Jacobs jams it. I he always jam it. He always jams it. You heard it here. Always. So, so James, why did you get the country on the How did all that happen? Uh, my buddy signed me up for uh, the Bachelorette, and he was drunk at a Waffle House, <laughs> and said, uh, you know what, my buddy, he's like the best looking dude I've ever seen, Evan, this dude's like a 10. I'm attracted to him, and I'm a guy, and I'm super straight, right? I wonder so, who it is. I, right? Yeah, his, name, his name's Evan. No, there's, it's, his name's Marcus. Uh, anyways, good looking dude, and he always got all the girls in Atlanta, so he kind of felt bad for me. He's like, dude. I'm going to get you on The Bachelor because you're like a good dude and you need to find a good girl. So I thought he was joking. He was drunk at Waffle House, took a picture of me, uh, well, screenshotted a Facebook picture and sent it in and made up a fake bio. So I had to go lose like 40 pounds and then uh, but do cool things that match my bio that were not accurate of me. So, yeah, that's how I got on there. And then I did a bunch of interviews. Went to final, They flew me out for a finalist weekend. It's pretty weird. They do like uh, STD checks and health checks and background checks and then interview you and make sure you're pretty cool and can work with a camera like this and talk to a camera, talk to a person and it gets uh, pretty weird but it's uh, it's fun. So that's pretty awesome because I kind of realized when I, uh, when I was in high school with the James McCoy Taylor, I kind of knew when I was on the bus. I knew. Just, oh my god. Nobody stopped me. Let James see me. Like, Come on. So I kind of knew. The, uh, James will sing bus stop song on the bus, from the playoffs, from the Astrodome, back at home, or at the stadium, back to school. Like, that was fun. How'd that feel? I felt great, dude. I mean, you know what? I had guys like Chris Petlar, who uh, got us some wins. Scar Pet, you want to come give a shout out? Come nah. Shout out, Ted, give a shout out. Come on. Let me show you the real okay. Chris Peddler. Come on. Hometown hero. Chris Peddler. Better than Drew Zyler. I swear I mean that. She really is. Drew Zyler's That's over here. Yeah, you are. You are way better than Drew. I'm not better. You are better than Drew. You are better than Padilla. That's true. I love Padilla. Maybe. If you're watching, we love you. But he was better than Drew Zyler also. It's not true. Not Mouton, but like... I, I was better than Ryan for sure. <laughs> oh, man. That guy, that now he's lying. Right that guy, now. So, Mouton, you heard it. So, right now. Joel Arnold, neither. Neither one of those guys. Nah, Joel, Joel is on top. <laughs> so, so, so he won us a lot of games. Uh, we won a state championship. And after every game we won, which we only lost one game, but when we, when we, every time we won, we'd sing on the bus. And I would, I'm not going to lie. I was just kind of crazy, like yelling and stomping up, and yeah. saying, shake it up, Katie, and jamming, like literally shaking the buses till they like swayed. It was pretty fun. Coaches didn't love it until finally at the end, they kind of started being okay with it, but all the all the players loved it. Evan was like the supporter, like, dude, keep singing, man. I kind of I knew something. After, you know, just a lot of legends from Katie Hunter. We're going out to the end. Why Brady, Brady has a Brady, Thomas, Thomas. Thomas. and Andy Dalton, and Evan. And so there's a lot of people, a lot of legends from Katie High School. Yeah. And we got this guy. He's a coach's artist, like 40 all the United States. <laughs> now with that, he went to a state where I filmed Ozark. Yeah. Atlanta. I did. I did. I, I lived in Atlanta. Well, yeah, man. I've gotten to do a bunch of cool things and. uh wouldn't be without, uh, wouldn't be without God. Wouldn't be without Katie's support. Wouldn't be without guys like you helping me out all along the way. And uh, man, I appreciate it, dude. Appreciate you having me on your live. We love you guys, and thank y'all so much. Seriously, it means a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, follow me on James McCoy Taylor on Instagram. Is my probably my main thing. 
Uh, yeah, you'll find all the rest through that. James McCoy Taylor on Instagram. Thank you guys for following. Thanks for watching, Evan, and for supporting me, man. Ozark, season two, Ozark. August 31st. August we'll see you there. Love ya. Let's launder some money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.